Hey, hey, back at home, just walked in. Uh, had to catch a lift from the Walmart where I was at because I just came out with too many bags and it's just too many to be walking on the, uh, I mean, taking a bus back with. And I didn't buy one of those little carts like everybody got, which would have made it easier. But anyway, my lift driver pulls up in the driveway here. And uh, I done got out, getting my bag situated, getting ready to make my walk down to my building. And uh, I hear somebody blowing. And uh, I look back, see my lift driver uh, in his car. Then there's some gray truck trying to come in. The lift driver was a little bit too close on that side where he turns in. But the big dude driving that truck didn't have the mouth off like he did. Now, he just went way out of line, talking about this ain't Europe. You're all on the wrong side and all this shit. I mean, he was just standing out there mouthing off for no reason. Some big dude talking about if the boy looking for a problem, he got it. Uh, no, you ain't got no, he ain't, he ain't even had no damn problem. That was my Lyft driver. He was way out of line. This big dude jumped his ass out. Now, the boy got his door open. See, that's how altercation starts and shit gets started and your motherfucking family on the other end be crying talking about what the fuck happened to you because he's standing his big ass out there mouthing off as somebody he had no business mouthing off to. That boy ain't been in this, this, this parking lot before. He didn't know he was too close. And then you could have waited till he moved out or moved out the damn way. Hell, he could have bagged up, but you open your damn door, you roll your window down, you sit up there mouthing off at him already, blowing your horn like you motherfucking goddamn crazy. Then I tell the dude, I said, that's my Lyft driver. He didn't know. He said, you better walk your groceries. I done walked my motherfucking groceries. And now, let me tell you something. If that boy would have got at you, I'd have walked away and not said a motherfucking thing. And if somebody asked me, did I see shit? Hell, fucking no. Because you had no business with your big motherfucking ass thinking that size matter. That boy probably would have fucked your ass up. Yeah, that don't make no damn sense. You jumped your ass out that damn car, standing out there in the parking lot, mouthing out at a Lyft driver, and he didn't do nothing really, but was just a little bit too far on the wrong side of the parking lot where he was, the big dude was trying to come in. Now, if an altercation had to start and that shit got out of hand, big dude was responsible for it because everybody's standing out there sitting in their vehicles looking at you. Now, I'm walking down the aisle with my groceries and the other guy dude said, right. I said, that wasn't even called for. That motherfucker didn't have to say nothing to that young boy. I'm like, what the fuck, man? Don't think that size is your matter. You standing out there like you intimidating, like you, you, you motherfucking shook night and shit. That shit didn't mean shit. That young boy had his door open and was talking back at him. Now, if something had to jump off, that big dude that lives in this building is responsible. Man, keep your motherfucking mouth closed. Show a little respect. If the boy didn't know, let the boy bag up. You ain't had to do all that goddamn shit. Then on top of that, you get out in the fucking parking lot and mouth off at the goddamn boy. Now, you asking for fucking trouble. You didn't have to do all that. It was a Lyft driver, man. He didn't know. Damn. What the fuck? That size of yours don't matter. Some of these motherfuckers out here be talking shit and don't need to be saying a motherfucking thing. This is a motherfucking apartment building. The boy didn't know. This is a Lyft driver. He was trying to turn around and get back up out here. Out of here. Now, I requested a Lyft driver. He got to come down here to this building dealing with this big ignorant motherfucker. This is some embarrassing ass motherfucking shit. That Grover grown ass Sasquatch should have shut the fuck up. You been next time, think about your family when you be out there mouthing off doing that damn shit. That shit wasn't necessary, but some tragic shit could have happened. Shut the fuck up.